Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our partner 42. Inside this video, we will see all about route middleware. Inside last two videos, we had discussed about the complete concept of Laurel middlewares and also discussed about the basic concept of global middleware and group middleware. So go to the next tab. So these are the definitions we have covered so far as well as we had seen the middleware category wise. So this is global middleware, group middleware and this time we are discussing about route middleware. So route middlewares are those middlewares which we are going to apply on few specific routes. So to understand we need to create a middleware. So in the last video we have created a middleware called PHP Artisan Make Middleware and with the name of Country Check. This is the middleware which is going to detect that from which country actually we are getting our request. Back to slide. And let's say that we have a URL something with this route. Let's say country equal to US, country equal to India. So what we want, we are going to allow our routes for few specific countries. We are going to allow our routes for this US and India country. But inside UK, the same route we will hit from UK country, then we want to restrict that. For example, let's say we have route 1, route 2, route 3 and route 4. These all routes from route 1 to route 3 we can access from all of the countries like US, India and UK. These all routes will work for all these countries. But in case of route 4 we want to restrict for this UK country. This route or this URL is only accessible for these two countries. So how can we apply for this specific route? It is termed as route middleware. So back to editor. This is the middleware what we have created called country check and inside this handle method we are going to apply our logic. So let's say that if by the help of this request instance we are going to get this country key value. Back to editor. So request country if it is set, it means it had some value and we are going to check that it is inside our restricted countries. Let's say that actually this is our first parameter. This is our country value what we are getting from the URL and in the next value we are going to put our restricted countries array. So we want to allow inside US and India country. But in case of rest other countries, apart from US and India, we need to redirect into no access route. So let's return, redirect and here we will put let's say no access. Now we need to create this no access route back to web.php and inside this web.php we have already created by using this view method. So here we have the route name and this is no access means template file no access.blade.php. This file will be created inside resources folder and views folder. So here we have resources, views and here is the file. So if we open this file, inside this file we have a simple message called access denied. Now this time we are going to use this country check middleware to a specific route. So in the last video this is what we have seen with the group middleware so what I will do simply cut delete this pasting it here now we have four different routes let's say route 1 sample 1 sample 2 sample 3 and sample 4 now for this route let's say for this sample 4 we want to apply our middleware so first of all we need to register this country check inside this kernel.php so if I back to this kernel.php, this is for the global middleware, this is for our group middleware and finally this is third one for routed middleware. So if we go inside that, if I copy this line, pasting it here and simply let's say app restrict, this is only our middleware name and inside this 
instead of using this predefined class, let's say we have our middleware as country check. So this is something let's say country check. But the country check is middleware not inside this auth. It is inside this app HTTP middleware. So if you go at the top, copy this line. And what I will do simply go and remove that. So in this case, instead of using encrypt cookies, we have called country check because this is the middleware we had defined inside app folder, HTTP folder and middleware folder. Now we need to use this middleware name with the route. So if I copy, go inside this web.php and I will apply that middleware means routed middleware with this sample 4. So what I will do, simply use our arrow operator and in this case, we will use our middleware method. And inside this middleware method, we need to pass the middleware name. So simply, this sample 4 is now protected, is now grouped with this app restrict, app restrict middleware. So when we open let's say sample 1, sample 2, sample 3, we are not checking any country accessible route. But inside this sample 4, it is using this and behind the scene it is using this class and inside this class we have the logic of this country wise restriction. It means if sample 4 route is open for UK country then it will go inside this no access route otherwise it will work. So save all these changes, go to browser, let's open let's say sample 1 and inside this case let's say country equal to UK it will work because we haven't restricted it for this sample 1 route. Replace sample with this sample 2. Again it will work. Let's say for this sample 3. It will work but when we pass sample 4 and as we know that sample 4 we have restricted with our route middleware. And this is country we are passing UK. So if we press enter it is now redirecting into access denied page. But in case, let's say sample 4 and we are passing let's say US country as we know it is like accessible country. Reload this and we are getting sample 4 page. So successfully guys step by step now we have covered about each concept of global middleware, group middleware and routed middleware. A little bit difference is that what is the difference between group and routed because inside these categories actually we are making our route groups. So the difference is simple. If we go inside this web.php, if suppose we want to put app restrict for this sample 3 as well, simply we need to copy pasting it here. If we want to apply with this sample 2, pasting it here. Now if we go here, Again, if we open this sample 2 and as we know that middleware is now applied, so it will check country. So it is US, OK, but when we pass UK, it is not OK. But the thing is that actually we had written this middleware code three different times for these three different routes. So why actually we need to write three these pieces of code instead we need to make a route group and we need to pass a middleware name into a single time. By passing into a single time actually we can protect like sample 2, sample 3 and sample 4 routes only at a single place. So this is the difference between group route and routed middleware. So in case of group middleware, we need to create a group and pass a middleware into a single line. But inside this routed middleware, we need to write each time when we create each different route. So successfully guys, step by step now we have covered the middleware concept and also discussed about all of its categories like global middleware, group middleware and routed middleware. So middleware is nothing, it's a barrier through which each request process. It checks that if request is valid or invalid. In this case, as we can see that if it is allow, it means it is a valid request. But in this case, UK is not allowed. What we had done inside this country check code with this US and India country, it means this request is invalid. 
So simply, by the help of middleware concept, we need to check that our request is authenticated or unauthenticated. So in the next video guys, we will discuss something more in Laravel. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.